American officers arrive at a Nazi institution seized by First Army troops. Under the guise of an insane asylum, this has been the headquarters for the systematic murder of 35,000 Poles, Russians, and Germans sent here mainly for political and religious considerations. Those still alive are examined by Major Hermann Bolker of the American War Crimes Investigation Team. The townspeople in Hadamar, Germany, called this place the House of Shudders. Meanwhile, at the graveyard attached to the institution, bodies are exhumed for autopsy. 20,000 are buried here. 15,000 who died in a lethal gas chamber were cremated and their ashes interred. Death books found hidden in the wine cellar of the Hadamar Institution revealed part of the story of the mass killings. The bulky volumes contained thousands of death certificates. Profession unknown, nationality unknown was written after each name. Corpses are lined up pending the arrival of WCIT officers. Major Bolker performs the autopsy. A detailed listing is made of all clinical data. interrogating the institution heads. Dr. Valmann, the taller man, was the top Nazi in charge of the place. The other man entering the room is Carl Willig, chief male nurse. He admits to killing inmates with overdoses of morphine. The testimony of other witnesses substantiated the fact that morphine was issued at the institution without attempt at making a record. As many as 17 at a time died from the morphine injections. The investigating officers were told that the Nazis never bothered to determine whether a victim may have survived the overdosing. Instead, all were hustled off to the graveyard and buried in piles of 20 to 24. The prisoners are removed to await trial. A Hadamar judge told the investigators that when the 10,000th victim died, the institution heads and Nazi officials staged a celebration. <laughs> 